guys, in this video we're going to make a 3D baby group cake. In this one we're going to have to make our own internal structure to make sure the cake is nice and sturdy. So I've taken a cake drum and I've drilled a hole so it fits my metal rod. Now I'm going to put links in the description box below to everything that I've used so that you know the sizes of everything here. So we're inserting the rod through our cake drum and we've put a large washer either side and a nut either side of this rod. Now because it sticks out the bottom of my cake drum, I've just cut a piece of foam board the same size as my cake drum and I've cut out a hole in the middle so that that nut just pokes through but now my cake drum should sit flat on the bottom. Inside the head we're also going to need some more cake boards. So I've put another hole in through the middle, I think it might be slightly off centre but through the middle is fine. So it's two cake cards and the idea of these is we're going to put them back to back so that we've got the silver coating on both the top and bottom. So now we just want to cover up our rod so that our cake's not going to come into contact with it. So I've cut a piece of cake dowel to six inches tall and inserted it over my rod. Now originally I'd put a straw on but the straw was just a bit small and cracked so I've put that dowel over the top. And can you see I've put a nut just at the top of that six inches as well and then we're going to put a washer so it just sits on that nut and then we're going to put on those cake cards that also have the hole in. Let's put another big washer on and we'll screw that in place with a nut. I'm going to use some more dowling just to cover the top of my metal rod and then we just want to make sure that none of our metal pieces are coming into contact with our cake. So you can cover them in a layer of tin foil and then I've also just put a little bit of chocolate ganache over the top just to hide that and to make sure it's stuck tight onto the board. So I've got some chocolate buttercream now that we're going to cover this cake card in. So this is my top cake card and we're going to put on some chocolate cakes at the same size as my cake card. So I've got some six inch cakes and my cake card underneath was six inches as well. And we're going to layer it up and put a layer of chocolate buttercream between each layer. So I'm getting quite messy. At this stage I'm not too worried about it not being terribly neat. This is all in the middle and we're going to neaten it up. So I've just covered that until I've covered up that rod, I don't want that rod poking out the top. And I'm just going to cover it in a thin layer of buttercream. And then I'm also going to cover it in a layer of chocolate ganache. Now you can just use buttercream if you prefer. I'm not very good at smoothing off my buttercream, as you can tell. So I'm going over it with a layer of ganache. Now on this cake, I thought it would be okay if I didn't smooth it out too much because he's got a wood effect, so he doesn't have a perfectly smooth finish. But when I did finish the cake, I wish I had spent a little bit longer just smoothing it off that little bit neater. I'm melting some marshmallows together with some Rice Krispies for our Rice Krispie treats that we're going to create the body from. And I'll put the recipe for these in the description box below. And I'm just building these up around the bottom pole that we've got. Just giving it a really good squeeze on tight. It's quite a basic body shape that we've got. And then I want some smaller pieces that we're going to make into feet. So we're going to make like little fat cone or teardrop shapes, one for each foot. Now my hands look very greasy, the Rice Krispie treats were sticking to me so I have put some vegetable shortening on my hands just to try and stop it sticking to me while I'm working with it. And we're going to put a little bit more Rice Krispie treat on just underneath that cake board. Just so we're getting a little bit of a dome shape at the bottom. Then we're going to cut a bit more shape into the head. So I've gone back to the top of my cake and I'm just taking a little bit off each corner. Because it's ganached, it makes it a little bit easier for me to cut it. And I've taken a little bit off the back. And I'm just going to mark with a circle cutter roughly where I want those eyes to go. And we're going to trim a little bit of cake out there. So I'm holding my knife at a bit of an angle. So it just leaves a little arch or a little dome inside the eye area. And I'm just going to cut a tiny bit out of the bridge of the nose. I'll do the same with the other eye. And any of those edges that we've just cut, we're just going to go back over and fill in with buttercream and ganache. And I'm just going to cover all my Rice Krispie Treat areas in a layer of ganache as well. So you can see some of the Rice Krispie Treats poking through, but that's fine. Now for my colour, I've actually mixed two pre-dyed ones together. So it's like a teddy bear brown and the chocolate fondant. So it will have a slight chocolate taste. Just gives me the colour that I want. We're going to start by wrapping a piece of fondant around the body. Try and get my seam towards the back or even towards the side. If it shows a little bit, we are going to cover this with lines anyway. So I'm going to put a little bit of detailing into the body. If you're not sure where to put all the different lines, just have a picture of Baby Groot to hand 
So you can look at whereabouts you want these lines to go. So we just want him to look a bit more tree-like. And I'm going to wrap now the Rice Krispie Treat legs that I've done. Just going to wrap them in a thin layer of fondant. And we're actually going to cover quite a lot of this up. So don't worry if the end's not tidy. Because we're going to create some circles and teardrops. One that goes in the middle. And then the teardrops are going to kind of go around the edge. So can you see the rounded bit goes towards the end of the foot. And then the long thin point of the teardrop is going up the leg. I'm just going to add some little lines with some dressing tools. It looks a bit more wood-like. Do the same for the other one. Now I've just sliced a tiny bit off the top so it fits nice and tight against the body. So I'm just going to check they fit. I'm not going to attach them just yet. Put them to one side. Now we're going to cover the head. And I've got a little bit of cornflower stuck in my fondant. And we're going to wrap that around the best we can. It's quite a large piece. It's flopping around a bit. So anywhere that the fondant has folded together, we'll just use our scissors to trim through. Just smoothing it off a little bit with my hands. So if you want it a little bit smoother, just spend longer prepping the ganache in advance, smoothing that off. So hopefully some of our lines will cover the uneven texture. And I'm just going to use my knife or a modelling tool to create lots of marks now. And it's up to you how many lines you want to put on here. We're going to go down and put a few lines on the face. I don't want to overdo it with loads. We'll start with just a few and we can always add more after if we need to. So I'm going to just draw in a little mouth. Oh, it's a little bit sad looking. And I'm going to add a little rectangle just above this eye. I'll smooth the bottom bit into the eye socket. And I'm just going to make an eyebrow. So I'll draw on the kind of shape I want. Let's put some little lines in. And then I'll cut this top bit off. Like that. Just giving a little bit of a press back down in place. Same on the other one. It's a bit scary looking at the moment. So we want two large circles now in black for the eyes. So I have used a cookie cutter to get the round circles. And we're just going to have a tiny little sausage of white in each eye now. So it looks like the light reflecting a smaller one just at the opposite side. A tiny, tiny thin piece of brown just going around the top edge of each eye. And I'm going to cover the board now. So I've got some pre-dyed green. So I've rolled it big enough to cover my board. I've cut out a circle. Put a little slit in that. And then that's going to just wrap around our board. So hopefully that circle should sit nicely around baby group. If it's not the right size, don't worry, you should be able to stretch it to go around. And now that's on, we can add his legs. You can just use a tiny bit of water to stick these in place. It should work okay. Or if you've got any chocolate ganache left, you can use that as well. And I've got some leftover bits of green fondant from a board that we're just going to make some little leaves with. So a bit of a teardrop shape and a line down the middle. And we'll just stick a few of these now on his body and his head. For his arms, we're going to use some more of our fondant. Just roll a long piece. We're going to fold it up and we're going to roll it and coil it together. I'm just going to cut a little bit off at an angle at the top so that this sits nice and tight against the top of the body. And let's just put the bottom end. Now I've just done it slightly off screen there. I've just put a little indentation in to divide his hand so that he looks like he's got a thumb. Add any more green bits wherever you fancy. I'm just going to curl the edge of his mouth up just a little bit so he looks a little bit happier. And I'm going to add some more smaller lines now. And I'm going to brush on a little bit of colour. So I've got a deep green. And I'm just putting it on with a dry brush. Again, I'll put what I've used in the description box below. So you can put on green anywhere that you want, a little bit of colour. And then anywhere that you want to look shadowed, we're going to brush on a tiny bit of black. Don't go too heavy handed with the black. And if you want to go darker still, you can wet the edible powders with a little bit of water and just paint those on. And if you want more shine on his eyes, we're just going to paint an edible glaze just onto those eyes. So just give him a little bit of grass on the board. So I've got some daisy cutters. You can do them in a range of sizes. And what I'm going to do is cut those in half. And we're going to stick those then around the board. I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit of gold ribbon just to hide those cake boards underneath as well. Just use double sided sticky tape to tape this on. And there he is, all finished. If this video is a little bit complicated, why not try the flat 2D version of this cake, which you can also find on my YouTube channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. 
If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.